Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmai Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. So I've got with me today a Sony TV, this is the KDL40W5710. The client tells me there is no power whatsoever, no sign of life, no LED light on the standby, nothing, okay? So we're going to do a quick uh, diagnostic uh, procedure and I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, easily troubleshoot and uh, replace the board because I believe the problem on this is going to be the power supply board if there's no power. Okay, so the tools you're going to need is a digital multimeter like this one. This is the Mastec MS8268 and uh, you're also going to need a uh, screwdriver. I'm using this. Okay, now with any TV that hasn't got any power, the first thing you want to do is to test the source of power, in which case it's going to be the AC plug or the mains lead. And the first thing to check is going to be the fuse in there. And the way to do this, you take your multimeter, in my case, you dial to the right twice and go to this little uh, squiggly wavy line and uh, test your multimeter. We're going to test for continuity and you can take the fuse out or you can sometimes leave the fuse in there as well, not a problem. And all you need to do is test the two ends. And we hear a beep and there's continuity between, which means the fuse should be fine. Now, if you don't have a multimeter at this stage, you should try to always replace the fuse. It doesn't cost much and uh, this might be able to solve the problem. However, to continue the rest of this tutorial, you're going to need a multimeter. Now, the second thing is we're going to do is we're going to test power coming into the TV through this mains kettle plug here. And we're going to test uh, for AC voltage coming in. All right. So I'm plugging this into the mains electric socket. Now, at this stage, be careful. The continuity test was relatively harmless. Now, from here on, you can electrocute yourself if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're in doubt, consult a professional. Otherwise, do at your own risk. All right. So now you want to turn your multimeter dial to this V with uh, a singular squiggly line underneath. And we're looking for AC voltage. Now here, it's going to be approximately 230 to 240 volt. Okay. So get your plug. This is a two pin one. You could have a three pin. Insert the neutral first into the N. The black probe goes into the N. And then the right, the white, sorry, the red goes into the live. And as you can see on the multimeter, we have 239 volt. So that's not bad. It signifies that we are getting AC current into this plug. All right. So now at this stage, we are sure that the plug is working at least. Sorry, if you don't have a multimeter, you can always get a different kettle plug and uh, plug into your TV, but make sure that kettle plug is actually known to be working and then that may resolve your problem if it was a plug issue. Okay, so the next stage is we're gonna have to open the back cover. Now with most TVs, there are screws which holds the back cover and the principle is any screw you see, just unscrew them. Okay, now for this TV, there were four screws here holding the stand. And usually you have to take the stand out first. I've already done that. And then I've gone round to take every single screw I can see. And if you see a screw, literally take it off. And don't forget the panel on this side has a couple of screws sometimes as well, okay? There are only three main types of screws for this kind of TV. So find a way to mark uh, which screw goes where. You could draw a diagram, you could write on the TV itself. That's up to you to do that. It'll be easier to uh, put it back together later. Okay, right. So I've already done that and we're gonna remove the TV. You can also remove that part for this model. Right, this is the power supply board. I think the problem is on there. Now, a physical inspection can sometimes tell you is there is an issue, like if you see burned stuff or brown stuff, or you could look at the capacitor and there'll be, you know, blown up uh, capacitor that would signify a capacitor issue. But here, because we have absolutely no single power, it's most likely going to be a question of the whole power supply board is faulty. Now, this is not a fix as in repairing a power supply board. This is a replacement, which is far easier and far more simple. With the mains plug plugged in and turned on, okay? Uh, if there's a switch on the TV, you can switch it off before you plug this in, but I haven't got a switch on this TV, so I'm just plugging straight away. 
right? Now we know the plug has AC coming in. What we're gonna test for first, do we have AC coming in onto the board? All right, so get your multimeter, turn it to one squiggly line to the left. This is gonna be AC voltage. And when we checked for AC before, we had about 239. The blue is going to be neutral. 238.5, which is close enough to 39. So we know there is power coming at least onto this end, okay? Now, on the power supply board now, AC voltage will be converted into DC voltage and it's going to send those voltage up to the other parts of the TV, like to this main board here, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our dial to DC this time, DC voltage, okay? So DC voltage dial here and uh, each TV uh, will indicate on the board how much DC voltage will be uh, pushed out to the main board. On this board, it says the standby power is 3.3 volts. On, on some other boards, it might be five volts. You need to check for your own board, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ground our black probe on the metal part of the TV, okay? And you're gonna try to measure the voltage, the DC voltage on the standby pin. And as you can see on the multimeter, I'm not getting DC voltage of 3.3 volt. The next pin, still no 3.3 volt. Next pin, still no 3.3 volt. So which signifies that this power supply board is not pushing out the right voltage to the main board, okay? All right, so what you wanna do is find the reference model for this power supply board here, it's gonna be 18785981 and Google it, eBay is usually your friend. I've got myself a power supply board replacement here. Uh, same, uh, the same reference. Now, uh, just to be sure, always send a message to the supplier with your power supply board reference and the reference of the actual TV, just to ask them if it's compatible or not, okay? Now, we're gonna do a straight swap. So the first thing you wanna do, is switch off your TV, or in our case, disconnect the plug, okay? Make sure you do this, do not ever work on a live connected circuit. You're gonna to want to disconnect these cables, the power first, okay? Um, if you're in doubt, you can always take a picture of this to see which connector goes where, but this should be pretty simple. Connect, disconnect this. Make sure you're grabbing from the actual plastic bit and not pulling on the wires. You might break something, okay? So just disconnect everything. All right, for the last one, just push that in and, and lift this up. Okay, now we've got one, two, three, and four screws to remove. Just lift it off. Okay, carefully, get your replacement board. Now, before you screw them back in, it's good to test whether this board is actually working. So just put the plugs, all the plugs back in one at a time. And you can put the plug, mains plug in again. And we're going to now we're going to test for the DC voltage out to the main board. So turn your multimeter on to DC. Ground the black and test for, we're getting 3.4 this time. So hopefully this board is working. 3.4, okay. And the power on, uh, we had nothing, that's because I didn't turn it on. Let me turn it on. I can hear click. A relay switch has been clicked on. So there should be um, power on the on now. 3.3, yeah? Fantastic, so hopefully that should work. Now I've just switched off again and uh, unplug the mains. Now you can switch, now you can screw everything back together starting with the main board, okay? So you're just gonna have to screw everything in.
that's the end of today's video. Couple of final notes before the outro. This video was not sponsored. You will find show notes and links to everything I've talked about in the description below and in the cards above. Any affiliate link to sites like Amazon or eBay is clearly identified and if you click them and follow through with the purchase, it will not cost you anything extra and you will help the channel with a small kickback so it's a win-win for everyone. One more thing, if you want to ask a question, please be as specific as possible including all the relevant details. You can check out this video which I did called The Art of Asking the Wrong Question where I address this very common problem so we can help each other out without getting frustrated and wasting time. That's it for today folks, like, dislike, share this vid and comment below. And if you found the content helpful, consider subscribing to help the channel and keep you notified of future videos. Once again, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.